there are some things parents need to be aware of to make sure it's a happy and healthy Halloween. Here to hear, share some tips on keeping kids safe this year is our medical expert, Dr. Mandira Mera with SSM Health. Good morning. Good morning. So let's start first with makeup because I'm looking, I got to do like a <laughs> fake goatee or something like that. What, what do people need to worry about when they're using costume makeup? Sure, and, and a lot of this seems intuitive and like common knowledge, but we often forget some of these things when it comes to children especially. So especially if your child hasn't worn that type of uh, costume makeup before, definitely testing it beforehand on just a small area of the skin, ensuring that there's no sort of irritation, reaction, itching that's noticed before you um, put it all over the face or the body right. as appropriate. Um, yeah. Other things to keep in mind is uh, when using masks and different types of costumes, which is awesome for this time of year, but to make sure that they fit the child well. They don't don't um, allow them to trip or fall. Oftentimes masks or different makeups can obstruct vision as well. So to make sure that children have kind of clear vision and um, can just be safe while they trick or treat. And something that maybe us ladies know a little better, but if, yeah. if it smells bad, just don't even, if it's from a few years ago, just Don't toss it. it. Just toss it because it's likely gone bad and it's just a safer option. I'm sure the germs <laughs> are just all so, over the place. <laughs> so the email you sent earlier this week talked about candy rationing. And, yes. and I, I immediately <laughs> wanted to confront you on this idea of I mean, why should we be rationing our candy consumption? It's one day of the year. Come on, Dr. Mara. It's one day of the year, <laughs> but I know we talk a lot about calories and not all calories are created equal. Yeah. So a lot of sugar, um, even the small candy bars can have somewhere between 60 and 100 calories per candy bar. And we're talking the fun size here. Yeah. So making deals with your children. So one thing you can do is before they go out trick-or-treating is still eat a healthy meal at home, have dinner. Don't just think that the candy will be that dinner. <laughs> Other things that you can do is um, mm. divide as it up into so exactly mm. the mm -hmm. favorite candies and then allow them a few pieces at a time. What's very popular in some houses is the switch witch. And so five days later, a week later, a switch witch will stop by your house and maybe trade out that pile of candy for something else, a fun outing, some toys, puzzles, books, huh. something like that. So that again, encouraging the children, candy is not the only fun part about Halloween. Candy is fun though, and <laughs> as, as I yeah. told folks on our Facebook live stream, Dr. Mira is quickly becoming one of my favorite people because she's already endorsed coffee, and this morning she's also telling us there are benefits of chocolate. Yes, see, it's it's not all bad news. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there you go. I will share my knowledge, but I will not share my chocolate. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some good things to chocolate. We've been hearing about this for years, and a new study just came out showing probably even some more goodness, but not all chocolates created equal either. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the studies are usually done regarding the dark chocolates, so yeah. the more bitter, bittersweet, semi-sweet chocolates that have less sugar content. Uh, the chocolate benefits can range from lowering your triglycerides, improving maybe mental cognition, health, cardiovascular health. Um, it also stimulates some chemicals that are similar to the chemicals that we feel when we're in love. So all in all, um, chocolate is probably good for you. Probably stay closer to the dark chocolates. Don't overindulge, so don't go trolling <laughs> the aisles now for uh, binging on chocolate, but then be mindful of the amount of sugar and other additives. So if you're really looking for chocolate, go for the dark ones, go for less additives and less sugar. Kids, and, it's and not for, an excuse. And for Danica's house on a Halloween night, because oh, she'll have good sugar. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Dr. Mara, thanks. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you.